<laughs> there's a way you hold a chicken, and I guess there's a way you hold a baby. You know what I mean? And actually, you're holding it head side down. I think you're supposed to hold it head side up. All the blood's gonna rush to that baby's head. <laughs> Can I have a not bright baby? A not bright baby chicken. Hello, and welcome to the show. I'm David, and this is Leanne. This is the show where we take popular Costco food items and turn them into the best meals they can possibly be. Ever wanted to learn how to break down a Costco beef tenderloin? Boom, we're your show. Ever wanted to know how to get the most out of a Costco prepackaged meal? Pay attention. I'm a classically trained chef who has owned and operated fine restaurants all over the world. We will hold your hand and coach you through every step of your Costco ingredient meal prep. Leanne is an expert grower who produces much of the food we eat. She comes from a long line of successful gardeners, her family has been in the farmer's market business for decades, and she is highly opinionated. So there you have it. What else can I tell you? We live in a cool spot, we live healthy lives, Leanne's hot, I'm old. Enjoy the show. Okay, here we go. Five easy meals using Costco's famous rotisserie chicken. The first meal is pretty obvious with the classic roast chicken dinner. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and put your chicken back in the oven to bring it back up to temperature. This works whether you're just getting back from Costco or the bird has been in your fridge overnight. One will obviously take longer than the other. If you serve this dish with jasmine rice, steamed carrots, and bread, you can put this meal on the table for a family of four for under $13. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about removing the delicious meat from the carcass. You'll have the most success if you do this while the bird is still warm. You won't need a knife or poultry shears, so if you grab them, put them away. Begin by breaking off each of the legs and setting them aside. You'll want to pull the wishbone out to make an easy removal of the breasts. First, stick your thumb and index finger into the top portion of the breast to find it. Once removed, run your thumb down the keel to force the meat away. Don't worry if it's not pretty. This isn't a beauty contest. Once you're satisfied with your efforts, place the bones into a pot of cold water for later. Discard the skin unless you want to crisp it up in the oven for a snack. I find it kind of useless after it steamed itself in its own juice on the car ride home. Each Costco bird should easily provide you with over 800 grams of meat. That's a huge value for $8. Meal number two is the classic chicken salad. I'm not going to give you a detailed recipe because I'm sure you're capable of deciding your own classic components such as celery, scallion, mayo, or even fresh dill just to name a few. There's nothing better than having freshly prepared chicken salad in the fridge. It can be used in so many different ways, from making classic loaded chicken salad sandwiches, lettuce wraps, or even on crackers if you're in a hurry. The other great thing about chicken salad is there's really no limit to what you can add. I'm not a fan of onion in my chicken salad, but I do like to add a few halved green grapes or toasted almonds. I love the sweetness and the crunch. Meal number three, lettuce wraps. Could there be a lazier, healthier meal than lettuce wraps? Choose your fillings. We like glass noodle, carrot, mint, Thai basil, peppers, onions, cilantro, and so on. Hot sauces are also a big hit in our house. Don't get too up in your head about your lettuce choice either. They all work. Even iceberg lettuce becomes de facto taco shells. Calling dish number four chicken enchiladas is a bit unfair to enchiladas and Mexican cuisine in general. I like to think of this dish as more of a chicken tortilla casserole. Take some of your fresh shredded chicken and combine it with taco cheese and roll it in tortillas. This is where it gets extraordinarily lazy. We just take San Marzano tomatoes, chipotles and adobe sauce, combine them and smother the wraps. We cover them with more mixed cheese and then bake them in a 375 degree oven. This is such a great winter dish. As we always say in our house, you can take it out of the oven on a Tuesday, stays hot till a Thursday. We like to top ours with a little bit of salsa and sour cream. Our final dish is a soup. 
Your actual soup will vary based on available ingredients, but the first few steps will always stay the same. Take your bones from earlier and add onion, carrot, celery, toss in a few bay leaves and peppercorns as well. Let your stock simmer for a couple of hours. Keyword here is simmer. You boil it, you spoil it. Remove everything except for the broth. Wait until the bones cool and then pull any meat remaining. In keeping with the theme of simplicity, we're making a tortilla and bean soup. Again, start with some San Marzano tomato, crushed tomato, chilies, smoked paprika, ground cumin, and of course, lots of beans. We finish ours with Monterey Jack cheese, cilantro, avocado, and sour cream. So there you have it, five easy meals using Costco rotisserie chicken. If you like this video, do what you're supposed to do when you like something on the YouTube. You're smart people, you know what you're doing. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, folks. I know what you're thinking. Is she being held hostage? Perhaps. <laughs>